Hey guys, you got Jeremy and Grayson again here from Kitchen Dad. Today we're going to show you how to fold a burrito the right way. Um, we eat a lot of burritos in our house, so I've had lots of practice. So let's get to it. Alright, today we're going to make a pretty simple burrito. It's, my, it's Grayson's favorite burrito. It's just black beans, cheese with sour cream. Uh, but feel free to put anything you want in here. I tend to put a lot of leftovers in tortillas. Um, the first thing that you want to do is heat up your tortilla. As you can see, I kind of just microwaved it a little bit with some of the cheese so it could melt a little bit. You could also um, heat it up in a pan or throw it in the oven as well. The reason you want to heat it up first is just it makes the tortilla more pliable when you go to roll it. Um, the next thing I like to do is put any wet ingredients or sauces on the bottom just so that they don't um, try to run out on you when you're rolling it. Um, and as you can see, these beans uh, have a little bit of juice on them, so I'm going to try not to get too much of that in the burrito itself just to make sure it doesn't get too sloppy when we roll it. So you can kind of let those drain a little bit as you put them in there. You'll also notice that I'm laying out the food um, you know, almost in a line. Uh, you kind of visualize like how the burrito is going to look when you're done. And this just makes it easier to, to roll. So once you have all your ingredients in the burrito, you can kind of push them together a little bit one way and then you're going to fold the edges over. Don't push too hard. And I'm actually going to turn this around because I can see the juice running. Uh, so you're just going to fold one side over to the other side of the food and push it down just like that. And then you're going to use your fingers to just pull that back a little bit. And you can see I have a little bit of juice running out. That's okay. Um, Grayson won't mind. But pull it back a little bit so it's nice and snug. And then you can just finish rolling your burrito just like that. And boom, you have a perfect burrito. All right, as you can see, rolling a burrito is not too difficult. Give that a try and let us know in the comments below how it turned out for you. If you liked the video, be sure to give us a like below and subscribe. We're going to have a bunch more videos coming out. And I'm going to taste shot. the burrito and see how it tastes. 